All right, Blaze, dominating uh, major decision here against Kent State. Uh, first off, how is the season going for you? Uh, totally different setting for you, man. You go halfway across the country. How is it going from UVA to Mizzou so far? Oh, it's a lot different. I mean, we revved up the training. Training, well, the training is smarter, not necessarily harder, but you know, really uh, tailoring it to my style and my body. And it's been good, though. You know, the coaches have been really, really accommodating, and the training partners are great. And uh, it, like Coach Smith always says, you know, when we have a, a training room like that, it kind of makes the matches a little easier. So. I look at you know, like I look at. Your, your finish is the NCAA tournament. You haven't got what you wanted yet, man. Nope. Round the 12 last year, you lose to Epperly. Yep. And then um, the one year at 157, it looked like you were having weight problems because you were huge. What what do you think, you know, so far, what, what's going into the move and different change in setting for you? And, and, and not getting to your goals yet. What's, what's, what is, what went into that whole move, I guess? Um, I mean, it was partly wrestling related, partly school related. Um, I didn't, initially I didn't get into the, the program that I went to at UVA and I, I really wanted to get in a program that uh, meant something to me. And I didn't want to just, you know, waste a year necessarily. So, uh, and at the same time, yeah, I didn't get my goals. So uh, once I decided that I was leaving UVA, I really wanted to go somewhere that was going to push me academically and uh, athletically. And Missouri really felt like the right place. So, I mean, I know this is a place where I can reach my goals and really, uh, I mean, my goal is always to be a national champion. That's definitely something I can do here. Looking at, it was an MBA program, wasn't it? Yep. Masters of Business Administration. Yep. So you didn't get into UVAs. No, no, no. And, and what it usually happens is when in, in a fifth year, you can't go to another school if they have the same program at the school you're at, right? That's usually the rule. Um, so, did, yeah. so did they have to sign off on you going to, to Mizzou? Um, I'm not sure if they had to, but they did. They did, they were, okay. Um, I mean, it, it was, uh, everyone was good about it. It was, uh, I mean, we I saw, you know, there's no bad blood, really. I saw, you know, all the UVA staff at, at Vegas, and, you know, we're all we're all still the same relationship as it was before. So it was, it was, it was nothing sketchy, no shiftiness. It was just, you know, what did it was, well, You couldn't get into the program. Yeah. That's pretty simple to me. Yeah. If you can't get into the right program, you got to go where you can get into the program. Yep. Uh, looking at, here, and here's my here's my question for you. Going through your mind, going through the mind of the wrestler, I like asking people what's going through their thoughts and their thought process. Third period, 10 seconds left, semifinals, Vegas, you stand up. What's going through your mind? You stand up, you're winning the match. Um, I mean, I, at that point, I was just thinking I got to move, you know. I'm not a guy who likes to sit down and do nothing, you know. I like to I like to move. I like to try to score points. So when I knew I had a stall call going into, the, going into that, you know, I felt like I had to move. And, uh, yeah, it cost me the match, but, you know, I learned from it. So it, win or lose, it's a learning experience, and it's not March. So it's uh, it, every match means something, but they're all just, just learning experiences. Did you see that turn he hit you with in the beginning of the I, third period? It was like a made-up thing. Do you know what even that was? I haven't watched it, but, um, I mean, the coaches described it as a move that Allen Waters hits. You know, they call it that every time, but and that no one else really hits it but Allen, and they, they teach it, but I, I haven't seen it yet, so well, um, I'm sure I'll watch it down the road. Biggest positive for you so far about the change from UVA to Mizzou, what's it been? I think it's just a mentality, you know, sometimes I start to kind of start to fall into a lull and, you know, just kind of go through the motions, but being around a new team and a team that, like, everyone is gunning for a spot, gunning for a national title, it kind of makes me, you know, uh, kind of just drives me to compete hard again and just give them all of every, every match, not just for me, but for the team. Is there any doubt in your mind you can't win 174? No, sir. Looking at Rebuto, he won the weight in Vegas, mm -hmm. and he handled uh, Hammond pretty well. Yeah. Um, you've beaten Rebuto before, haven't you, in Vegas? No, we've had, we've had a bunch of close matches. Uh, I lost in overtime, I think, last time at Vegas. But, um, I mean, I'm always right there with him, and, you know, anything can happen. I lost him in overtime at Nationals and, uh, at 157. So it's, uh, it's, always, it's always close, but, you know, it's really just who shows up on the day. All right, man. You got anything else for me? No, sir. Thank you. Fun watching today. Thanks for the time, man. Thank you.